I don't know if you guys can see this on video, but there's there's something big was happening on the bank over here. Let's go see. We just passed a huge snook. We just passed a huge snook. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, sit tight. Sit tight. Sit tight. This might be it. That was a gigantic, enormous, obese, overweight, enormous snook. Oh, please God, let her still be there. We just passed an absolutely gigantic snook. There she is. There's she, she's on. We're on. Alright guys, uh, we just came from the beach, there was nothing going on over there, um, they're doing a lot of construction on this, on the beach, uh, John Lloyd Park, now it's called like Dr. Meinzel Park, I don't even know what it's called, I think us OGs we call it John Lloyd Park, um, there's nothing going on over there, so, I'm going back to the stomping grounds, I'm out on Griffin Road right now, and I got on a chartreuse glide bait, and we're going to pitch it around until something eats it, so, let's go. That was a huge snook. Tarpon, that was a tarpon, you guys. <laughs> come on, baby, come and get it. We might have to see if this tarpon wants to eat a glizzy. That'd be hilarious. was a huge snook oh my god oh my god i hope you guys saw that i hope you guys saw that holy sh tarpon first cast snook the second cast oh my god Snook. All right, guys. So as you can see, we can't. Like I said, we came out here to Griffin. I threw the glide bait immediately, hit by a tarpon, and then the very next cast, hit by a snook. That just goes to show you the the drawing power that these glide baits have. That if there's fish around, they're gonna come up and check it out, and a lot of times they're gonna hit it. Um, and for me, especially the chartreuse glide bait. I don't know what it is about that chartreuse. We have a lot of other really cool colors that Snook Snacks and Savage Gear came out with last year, like the Ghost Bass and the Ghost Bone. And those colors are all really good, and we have guys catching Snook on them. 
but there's something about that chartreuse. So we're gonna leave the spot we're at now. We're on to the next spot and we're not stopping today till we get a snook. There's peacock bass with their fry all over. This is the second ball of fry I've seen in this small stretch. I don't know if you can see those like where it was bubbled up right there. The little fry was just going crazy. Oh, there they go. <laughs> get them, boys. Little baby peacocks out there. They're so ferocious, even as fry, even in their little fry ball, look at them. If you were to throw a zabiki out there, you'd probably catch 10 peacock bass. So cool. All right, we're not gonna mess with them. I'm not gonna mess with them at all. I'm not messing with mama and papa peacock bass because they're protecting their babies. So um, I'm not even gonna mess with those guys. You know, they need to be there. Sorry, we're driving along and I'm, any, I drive down the bank and I look, so. As I'm going, I'm looking out here, and a lot of times you'll just see uh, these big snook just sitting on the bank. Sometimes you see interesting stuff too. I've seen, uh, I've been out here and seen them in mating pairs. So a big female, like a 40, and then like a small male, like you know, in the 22 to 25 range, just kind of holding onto her side, just holding onto big mama. So a lot. When you, if you guys do this, you, and even if you're not in a car, if you're on a bike, probably, probably a bike would be better. If you got a bike and you just cruise down Orange Drive, because uh, you'll spook them less, you would be shocked how many big snook in freshwater canals will just be laid up on the banks, just sitting there. Um, they're and they're not hard to spot because as you're going by, it's just gonna look like a big log. The only thing you have to get, you have to train yourself on, is you have to train yourself not to jump at every every uh, ripple, because like more than nine times out of ten, it's gonna be a tel oh look at the snakehead, look at the snakehead, can you guys see it? I'll try to zoom the video. Oh, it's a pair. You oh you see him? He turned. He, they're so aggressive. He's looking at me. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna try to get this snakehead. We're gonna try to get the snakehead. We're gonna spook. Back up. Slowly, don't spook! Don't you fucking spook! He's still right there! All right, he stayed. He stayed. He didn't move. He didn't move. He's still there. Oh, what do we throw? All right, we're gonna throw the glizzy at him. We're gonna throw the glizzy at him. Here we go. Hat's going on. Action hat. Is he still there? Oh, he's still there. Guys, there's two. There's two snakeheads. It's it's a it's a pair. I don't see fry. But then again, I don't care about messing with snakeheads because... Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting with something. They're fighting with a tilapia or some shit. Are they still there? That's the question. I can't tell now. I think, I think what just happened is we didn't spook the snakeheads, we spooked the little fish around them and that spooked the snakeheads. Fudge. Oh, no, now I spooked them. God, I'm an idiot. Well, this is why I stick to snook fishing, guys. Just, I don't know anything else. Nothing else really makes sense. Mission failed successfully. Yo. I have no idea what this is, but we were just driving down Orange, and something was going crazy right there. I would bet you it's tarpon. There's always little tarpon in this stretch right here. Let's see. Oh, do we want to stop is the question. All right, we're going to throw the glizzy. Why not? more action going on down there. We got a lot of action out here right now. 
you got action, Jack. I don't know if you guys can see this on video, but there's there's something big was happening on the bank over here. Let's go see. We just passed a huge snook. We just passed a huge snook. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, sit tight. Sit tight. Sit tight. This might be it. That was a gigantic, enormous, obese, overweight, enormous snook. Oh, please God, let her still be there. We just passed an absolutely gigantic snook. There she is. There's she, she's on. We're on. We're on. Oh my god. Please stay on, baby. Guys. She's a hog. This is a giant. This is a giant. She's right here. If we can just get her right on land, we're good. We got her. We got her right on land. Don't come off. This is beyond a donkey. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, now she's fighting. It's like she just realized she was hooked. Please don't come off. It's only like one hook in there. All right, I'm going in the water. No, 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 no. Turn that head. Turn that head. Turn that head. She's so big. I'm going in. No, 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 no. Turn. I can't get her to turn. Here we go. I broke my rod. Here we go. Oh my God. I just broke my rod to get this fish. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Guys, we did it. Ow, my finger. Look at this fish. Look at this. Oh my God. I'm losing it right now. This, we gotta get this fish on the measuring board. Cause this fish is absolutely gigantic. Oh my God. I broke my rod. No, Brad, I broke my self fork. Oh, spotted her guys. Spotted her just driving down the bank. Kept driving past. Then once you get about 20 yards past, you just throw that glide bait right back at them. And as long as they don't spook, this is what happens. Uh, all right, we got, let's see. Right there, zero, about, just about a 41. Guys, I'm absolutely geeking. I'm recording on two phones. I'm gonna hold this fish up for this video and we gotta get her back in the water. Let's go, guys. Look at this. Look at the size of this fish. Oh my God. Chartreuse glide. I've been trying to tell you guys, this is the move. All right, gotta get her back in. Look at that, boys. I broke my south fork, but worth it. She's right there. 41 on the chartreuse glide. Let's go. We gotta revive this fish, guys. We're going down. We're going in the water. There we go. Let's get wet. Get wet. Keep this fish slimy. There she goes. All right. Make sure I'm recording. I'm recording. What an absolutely beautiful fish. Guys, a freshwater fish like this, this water, oh, she's biting my thumb already. This water has less oxygen. They take longer to revive. You want to be gentle with them. You see this revive? You're gentle. You see these guys that come in shaking and swooshing them? That's no good. No, no good. Nice gentle revives is what we want. I'm gonna do a quick phone video while she's in here. I'm shaking, man. Did it, boys. Thanks for the inspiration, Anthony. 
on the chartreuse glide swimmer. Look at the girth on that fish. All right, let's get her turned around. Continue this revive. Again, guys, being very, look, you see that? You're gentle, 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 and they'll let you know when they're ready. Oh. Oh my God. I mean, I am just, I'm, I'm beyond words. I've been doing this for so long and I've caught so many fish like that and bigger. And the feeling never, ever, ever fades away. That feeling is always this good. Every time you catch one of those fish, it's always this good. God damn it, I love this. God, I do love doing this. Oh, she came right up for that. She had to have the glide bait. Oh my God. I'm still in the water. I'm still so geeked out. I'm just standing in the canal. I'm literally standing in the canal. So you might think that video is like spliced. I fished all day. Guys, I literally, I went to the first spot where I missed the first snook. And I, this is the very next spot I went to. All I did was I'm just driving down the bank. So when you guys are in these canals that you know hold big snook, get in your car or on your bike and cruise down the bank nice and slow. I just, I just sight fished that snook. I mean, it was the craziest thing. I sight fished that snook. I drove by, I saw her on the bank. I drove by by about 20 yards. So there's my truck. I, she was like just outside of the, these tallest weeds right here, this tallest bush. And I cast it back there and you guys saw what happened. The rest is history. Once again, guys, that was on the, uh, caught on the eight inch Savage Gear Americas glide swimmer in my personal favorite color, which is this bad boy right here. My personal favorite, the chartreuse flash from Snook Snacks. I'll leave you the link down below. Wow, this feeling never gets old, man. I absolutely love it. I forgot how much I love doing YouTube videos. I forgot how much I love you guys and how much I appreciate you guys. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're one of my OGs, I truly appreciate you guys. And we're back. I promise we're gonna be doing a lot more of this. So stay tuned.